Would you rather be stuck on a broken down train with Taylor Swift or Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran. Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, people, that's so bad because that sounds I'll do, like- I'll okay. do Swift, I'll do Swift. You know what? I'll do Ed Sheeran. And I'll tell you why I'll do Ed Sheeran. I want to know what he did to prepare for his Game of Thrones character. <laughs> <laughs> so I would want to talk to him about that. He just seems so, so chill. Yeah. I think if um, he could just, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely take Ed Sheeran. Yeah. <laughs> if it was on the train as well, like there was a piano, you could like have a yeah. Like a yeah, that'd be lovely. But yeah. then again, Taylor Swift could play 300 uh, instruments yeah. too. That's right. Yeah. Maybe just both of them. Taylor Swift. Maybe Taylor Swift. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. Would you rather have a time machine take you back in time or to the future? Oh. Back. Yeah. Back. The way things are going on. Exactly. I have back. a little hope for the future. Yeah. Back. I'm going to say back. Back. Show me. Show me what happens after the nukes. <laughs> Show me what happens. Show me if he's re-elected. Show me what happens with Brexit. <laughs> it's too depressing. It's too depressing. I would, I'll tell you where I would want to go. I would want to go to the premiere of the original Murder on the Orient Express and see all their faces when I say to them, there'll be another one <laughs> in your lifetime. <laughs> what a waste of a time show. Too scared of the future. Yeah. Future. Yeah, you're not worried about seeing seeing what happens? No, I'm very curious. Would you rather have Poirot's genius mind or Princess Dragomirov's money? Genius mind. Genius mind. Money. money. <laughs> but it has to be her money. <laughs> <laughs> because it would come with the marriage to yeah. damn Judy Dench. Damn Judy Dench. Mind, definitely. Money. <laughs> Seller. Why the mind? Oh my god, just to be able to function that quickly. Oh yeah, mind. And with money, you can buy the minds. <laughs> no! You... <laughs> Would you rather wear a fake moustache every day for a month or just on the day of the Oscars? Just on the day of the Oscars. Yeah. The Oscars, yeah. yeah. That would be pretty wild. Yeah. Or you could do it every day for a month and do the sort of, uh, because I don't have the ability to do a Movember, do it every day for a month and raise money for charity. Mm. So, so what a great thing. way That's to bring it back idea. to something really caring. Just on the day of the Oscars, shake things up. Yeah, same. Not worried about all the pictures of you, like, silly mustache. No, no, great. I mean... It makes you more popular. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather fight one Poirot-sized dog or ten dog-sized Poirots? Ooh. Oh my goodness! One wait, one Poirot-sized Poirot dog. dog. I want the ten little ones. Or what? Or no. ten dog-sized Poirots. Ten. Ten of them, but they're dog-sized. Yeah, no, I take yeah, on. But they have like an up. insane mind. I take on the ten they would Poirot dogs. They would pounce on you from every surface <laughs> and every direction. Okay. I would take one. One. Oh, the countdown's beginning, guys. We gotta <laughs> let her finish. <laughs> No, one. I'm liking this. I was liking the, the, like, the explanation of one why. Poirot-sized dog. That, I'm just so That's scared a big of that dog. Ten dogs. A Daisy, dog. we can't handle a dog. <laughs> None of us should know. Leave it alone. Yeah, wait, quick thing. We don't know how the dog is. Maybe we, our dog just wants a cuddle. Do you understand that none of us are prepared to take on a dog? <laughs> we, nobody's ever seen a dog that size. Great <laughs> You need to let it go. It's too dangerous. One Poirot-sized dog. No, or ten poir ten dog-sized poirots. I suppose if you haven't done anything bad, then ten dog-sized poirots, right? Yeah, I didn't get the question, but <laughs> yes.